What's going on everyone? Austin Curran here from Physique Development. I'm coming at you guys from the beautiful Gold Coast, Australia. So what is this series all about? What episode is this? This is episode one of this series. This is the fat loss series where I take you guys through my fat loss journey with me. Okay, so I'm going through a cut. I have an event in six months. And what's going to happen over this next six months is I'm going to release a video every week or two, filling you guys in on what I'm doing, what calories I'm cutting, what macros I'm taking away, what's my training doing, everything that goes into a cut you guys are going to go through that with me, okay? So I invite you to go download the free fat loss guide that I created for everyone. Um, again, it's free of charge, so it's there for you. I created this to not only make this easier on me during this series for you, but also to make it easier on you to basically have a guide that you can just go look at instead of replaying all of these videos. Now, you can replay all the videos all you want, but there is a guide there for you. So Now, this series is, is going to have a little plasticity to it, and what that means is I have a rough template of what this series is going to look like. I know what I want to talk about. I know what I want to teach you guys as an educator, but if you guys are involved, if you guys ask questions, comment below, make me well known to the issues that you guys have in your fat loss journeys. I'm gonna gear it, I'm gonna gear this course, I'm gonna gear this, this series to you guys, okay? So, you know, I may get a ton of comments and questions, I may get zero. My goal is to educate you guys. So if you're that one person that you're just like, there's no one that commented on this post. I don't want to be the only guy who commented on this post. Well, that's your loss because I could have answered that question for you from a professional perspective. So don't be scared. Ask questions below and let's get started. The first thing we do to get started is find your maintenance calories. So what does that mean? It means we need to find the amount of calories that it's going to take us to maintain our weight, maintain our body fat levels, maintain things to an equilibrium calorie wise each day. So we need to find, you know, with how much food that we're eating, with how much activity that we're putting out, how do we maintain our weight? So there's a couple different ways you can go about doing this. There is a calculator embedded into the into the guide itself that's going to help you calculate those calories and there's also a handwritten method which is what i've done so there's a handwritten method where you take two weeks time i know two weeks you just want to get started now but trust me if you take these two weeks and actually invest in yourself invest in this fat loss phase you're going to be a lot better off trust me so you take these two weeks and you start your calories to where you think, or a rough idea at where your maintenance may be, um, where you've been eating to maintain weights. So start with those calories. You need to start tracking your calories, making note of those calories. Um, if you don't start tracking your calories specifically to begin, <clears throat> at least write down your day. So food journal it, my fitness palette with your phone, do whatever you have to do to document your food, to try to keep it as linear as possible throughout the week and see what your weight does. And if your weight goes down, if your weight goes down, you know, anywhere from two to three to four pounds, you might be below your maintenance. You're definitely below your maintenance. So what needs to happen is you need to add, try adding two to 300 calories back into what that perceived maintenance was. So if you were at 2,500 calories the first week, you may need, and you were losing weight, 
you may need to bump that up to 2,800 calories on week two to see if you can reach that maintenance level, maintain that weight um, that you were at. So let's say that, that 2,800 calories is your maintenance, okay? Or we find you're still losing weight slightly that, that second week, you're still losing weight slightly, we may need to bump it up to 3,000 and that's where I've been and that's where I am now. So I'm just giving you perspective of what's happened to me over these past two weeks. So where I started my cut, so the end of my maintenance phase, 3,000 calories is roughly my maintenance. Now it's not gonna be exact, quit stressing about being perfect, just do it, okay? So we just need a place to start, we need a place to gauge something from. So all that being said, 3,000 calories is where I chose that I was close enough to my maintenance to get started. So one of the best ways to actually ensure that we are in a caloric deficit, and we need to be in a caloric deficit to ideally lose weight, lose body fat, okay? So to create and ensure that caloric deficit, it's really easy to take a very linear approach. Linear meaning doing the same thing each day. Uh, it's, it's easy to take a linear approach and reduce 500 calories from each day from that maintenance. So what I mean by that is taking 3,000 calories where I was maintaining, subtracting 500 calories, and that's gonna equal 2,500 calories, and that's where I should be each day. Now, if you wanna know how specifically to get macronutrients from those 2,500 calories, please download the free guide. It's all done in there for you. It's gonna teach you how to actually calculate it. You're not gonna to have to rely on any of these out there macro calculations to know if this is right for you. You're going to do it yourself in the guide. So I encourage you just to download it, look through it, and calculate your macros yourself because there is a free, there's a freeing feeling of being able to dictate your nutrition and be understanding of your nutrition instead of relying on someone else just throwing something at you and you have no idea what's happening, okay? So the first step is finding, finding your caloric maintenance. So whether you take the route of using the calculator that's embedded into the guide, go for it. Or if you want to take the approach that I took to create a sure approach to finding your caloric maintenance, or at least get closer and learn more about your nutrition, learn more about your body, learn more about tracking over these two weeks period, go with the, go with the, written, uh, go with the written method. Okay, so that's what I went with. So choose one of those two options and from there, you're gonna find your, where you need to be to start your fat loss, okay? Remember, I went through, if we had my maintenance, at the end of my maintenance, it was 3,000 calories. That's what I was using to maintain my weight. Then we subtract 500 calories per day from that 3,000 to create the total deficit to be on pace to lose at least one pound per week, ideally. So 3,000 minus the 500 equals 2,500. Now, again, if you wanna find the exact macronutrient breakdown to what is ideal for you and your body type, and from those calories, just download the guide. It's in there for free, and it's gonna teach you how to do it. So now the question comes, what's your training like? Well, my training was during my, these past two weeks during my maintenance, finding my maintenance calories, I was hitting a full body focused five day program for those two weeks. Uh, this is really not, it's just spe like specific to me. Um, this is what I wanted to do. This is what I had time for. This is what I prefer to do. Um, and I really enjoyed that full body focus five day program uh, over these past two weeks. So 
what have I progressed to during the first week of my cut and what's gonna be my first four weeks of training? Great question. My first four weeks of training are gonna be, my first eight weeks of training, more specifically, is going to be from HS6, which is a six day upper lower split, which I wrote over a year ago that I've ran multiple times that I ran use that I ran leading up to my second IFBB pro show. Um, and it, it, it's a great program. Uh, it's a great upper lower split. It's a great high frequency, lower volume, linear periodization program that has gotten me incredible results in the past. So I'm running that again because why I'm not creating a whole new program for this fat loss series is one, it's not necessary. And two, HS6 is periodized to ensure that my volume is being reduced as intensity is being increased. Everything that needs to be periodized, everything that needs to be in your training program is already in there for me. I've already done it, I've already created it. So this makes my life less stressful. It takes less stress off me creating program for myself as I already have to create you know, tons of programs for my clients. So, and this comes as a tip for you guys, the more structure and the more, and the less stress you can have in your life, so more structure, less stress you can have in your life, it's going to make this fat loss phase that much easier. So what I'm doing right now is HS6, it's six days of an upper lower split, and that's what I'm doing, okay? That doesn't mean that's what you need to be doing. You're welcome to do it. There's a link to it in the description box below. If you, you can go check it out if you want, but more importantly, there is a sample guide that teaches you a little bit more about how to actually create a program for you specifically in the fat loss starter guide that's again free in the description box below. So again, this is just an intro to everything, how to find your maintenance calories, how I found my maintenance calories, how I started and created my first deficit of this fat loss phase, and where's my training, okay? So this was just an introduction. This is episode one. If you guys have any comments, questions, or things you want to be included in this series, again, as you can see, it's just me talking, it's just me educating you guys. There's not gonna be any insane jump cuts, insane edits, I'm not Christian Guzman, I'm not anyone that does that um, at this point. Uh, this, this series is strictly for education purposes and I hope you guys find value in that. So if you guys are finding value, please comment below, please like the video, let me know in some way that you guys actually like this um, and leave a question.